hi everyone in today's very important video i want to talk about a concept that we have in ship stability which is called reserve buoyancy so in today's video i will talk about what is reserve buoyancy and why ships need it now you must have heard of this term when you read or you study ship stability but there is one fatal mistake that seafarers make when they go for their oral examination and that is when the sur the surveyors ask them about reserve buoyancy they do mention the stability and they do mention the definition but there is one key word they miss and that key word makes up for the definition of reserve buoyancy and that is the one i want to highlight today in my further videos i'll also teach you guys how to calculate reserve buoyancy if you are asked a question like that in the exam all right so let's get started with what is reserve buoyancy now imagine there is a ship and um, i know that i'm not a very good when it comes to drawing ships but let's say this is a ship right and of course there is a rudder here and there is a propeller here right this is the way i draw ships all right now look at this ship here and this ship is let's say floating in sea water or it's floating in the water and this is the water line all right denoted by w and l now you've got water all below the water line of course as the ship is floating so if i have to label this ship how would i label this ship as so then this from the water line to the keel of course becomes the ship's draft right and from the deck line to the water line what do we call this we call this freeboard right and of course the this is the depth of the water so the total depth of the water will go from the water below so this is the depth of the water now why am i explaining all this now i'm explaining all this is to make you understand what is reserve buoyancy now if you uh, read the definition you will realize that reserve buoyancy is the water tight volume of the hull so water tight volume of the hull right and what does that mean now often when students are asked what is reserve buoyancy they always mention that it is the volume of the hull above the water line now remember that is not the case here reserve buoyancy is the water tight volume of the hull as well as other enclosed spaces all right you have to remember this not only the water tight hull but also the enclosed spaces above the above the load line mark all right so that means that all the spaces which are above the load line mark or above the uh, water level here which are enclosed where the water cannot ingress very easily now if you think about cargo holds cargo holds uh, water can ingress very easily any other open spaces where water can ingress easily or water can just go in easily when the ship is at the sinking or there are sea sprays coming in that is not considered as the reserve buoyancy all right so the position above the load line mark will determine the amount of reserve buoyancy allotted to the vessel so what is the mistake that seafarers make is when they are giving the definition in the exam they say it's the volume of the space above the water line or the load line no that's not correct you have to mention that it is the volume of the hull and enclosed so it is it is the water tight wherever the water cannot ingress easily and you have to include the enclosed spaces both definition all right because that pretty much gives the vessel the air pockets it needs and these air pockets will add to the buoyancy this is how you explain the definition because the surveyors don't want you to just recite the definition they want you to be able to explain what is happening here so that is why reserve buoyancy when you are asked to calculate it it is expressed as a volume or even as a percentage of what of the total volume of the vessel so you compare it to the total volume of the vessel because that gives an idea as to how much air pockets you can get in case the vessel starts to go underneath the water all right so if you think about the cross sectional diagram of the vessel i'll use a different pen um, rather use a black one so if you think about the cross section of the vessel so this is the cross section right this is the cross section now all this part here let's say 
this is the water line right so this is all this is this is the depth all right so this is the water line so this is reserve buoyancy but you have to remember that when you say this is reserve buoyancy i am only talking about the water tight spaces and the enclosed spaces where the water cannot easily go and so that's why the ship and so you can see here this might be the center of buoyancy all right the centroid of the water line area all right uh, when i say depth depth of course this goes this this is the draft of the vessel right, then this becomes of course the freeboard so why do we need reserve buoyancy or why do ships need reserve buoyancy so of course when the vessel if you look at the above vessel here if it is now plunging into the rough seas this above spaces provides the air pockets the buoyancy so the vessel can bounce back when the vessel goes into the rough sea it can bounce back so the air pockets created here in the enclosed spaces in the watertight spaces where there is no water ingress going where there are no sea space sea sprays going or shipping seas going into it all right so you cannot consider accommodation as the watertight spaces unless there are spaces where water cannot go in at all so these air pockets will provide the buoyancy allow the vessel to bounce back so when the vessel especially so why do we need it let's say why required is firstly in rough seas all right to prevent the vessel from plunging into the rough seas all right diving into it plunging into it all right secondly to prevent sinking like i told you it gives the air pockets so in even if the ship when the ship starts taking water all right when the ship starts taking water what happens then overall displacement will increase so as the ship starts to become heavier the vessel might start to sink right but these air pockets provide that buoyancy to prevent the vessel from sinking all right and of course if there is a damage or a collision and vessel is starting to take water again water ingress is happening all right so to prevent loss of buoyancy now if the vessel is not taking in water then of course the the spaces which are there you see here the vessel here all the empty spaces will provide the buoyancy in normal circumstances once you calculate the stability all the empty spaces provide buoyancy but it's only the problem happens when the vessel starts to take in water if there is any collision if there is any ingress of water any hole in the hull and the water is taking and the ship is taking in water and you can't control the displacement that is when these air pockets come in handy all right so that helps them to maintain a adequate water line as well so keeps the ship above the water helps you to keep the ship floating so we call it adequate water line so we maintain the water line so that the ship doesn't go below the a certain water line or keeps the ship above the water and as long as the ship is above the water of course it's floating and you can then adjust you can pump out the water you can play with the stability and keeps the ship above it so that's why you need reserve buoyancy right now of course if the without the reserve buoyancy the vessel would sink because the total mass of the vessel would then exceed the total water displaced by the intact sections of the hull so then it will no longer fall follow which law the law of flotation so as as the ship starts to take in more water becomes heavier than the water it's displacing it will become heavier and it will sink so it will not follow the law of flotation all right so you got what is reserve buoyancy so recently in oral exam a candidate actually said or told the surveyor that it is the uh volume of the hull above the water line and that was not correct all right so it is the volume of the water tight volume of the hull and the enclosed spaces so that is what i want you guys to know all right so in my next video i will show you how to calculate reserve buoyancy if asked in a question and let me know what you thought about this video or if you have anything to add the whole idea here is to learn from one another thank you for watching the video guys all the best